Right, let's uh, let's go again. Uh, so her, Ben her, <laughs> two one three one. Let's um, try and play uh, like Bishop G five and F four, just F four, aggressive stuff. Uh, right, if I play takes and then D five. That give me anything? Uh, okay, I've got the bishop now. Light's got a bishop. So if I take with um, g pawn, takes d5. I'll do that. I like bishop h3. There's queen h4 with bishop f2. So I like the like, option of bishop h3 and bishop b5. So it takes d5. So knight d4. Maybe I can just take. Um, or maybe not, because of this. This is weak over here. Maybe just Bishop F two here. Bishop B five. Takes takes. Threatening D six. Quick D six. About Knight B five on the same note. Vein. Knight B five. Uh, C six takes. I think knight b5 is dangerous. I'm hoping queen h4, bishop f2, takes, takes, that's the disaster. Knight square, bishop disaster. Immediately challenging that d4 knight. <coughs> so c6, knight d4, take, take. The, the check's going to be harmless. Okay, I'll take here. Is there c3 winning? He's going to be winning a piece with queen a5. It's bishop d2. Okay. Bishop d2. So. Then, ah. Ah, it's not what I planned, but I'll take here on bishop f2. Okay. I've got two bishops. Are they any good? If I play bishop c4 to b3 at some point. Queen d3, Queen d3 next, maybe. Why I'm asking for knight e5 later. Well, I just castle here, try and get my king a bit safer. King h1, prophylaxis. Okay, there's bishop on the diagonal. Maybe there's c3 coming up anyway. So king h1 and c3. C five take. All right. Okay. C four here. All right now. C four him. I don't know. C four. I lose the pawn on this one anyway. Bishop C four. I lose B two. Uh, what about just protecting this and having C four? I think Bishop A four, and then B three later. We'll just, I just want to play bishop c4 if he doesn't play c4. Ah, oh, it's a shame about that bishop being on a4 though. Ah, he's playing for even worse to win that bishop. Okay, it's time to sack a pawn. Stop c4. Give my bishop c2. He hasn't gone for that. Right, so a3, I'm going to try and play bishop a2. If rook b8, bishop a2. If it takes, there's queen d3. Yeah, so I'll leave that as a little trap. Queen d3. Um, I want to kick this knight though. If I play g5, I should have kicked the knight maybe. I uh, can still kick it here, okay. So I'm trying to maybe play Queen D3 as a blockading move. Not the ideal blockader. Uh, but then maybe, uh, okay, so Queen D3. Um, it's all a bit passive, isn't it? These bishops, both these bishops are pacified. For b4, 
I can transport B2 soon, my rook C2. Play for B4 and C5. F5 will give him huge E5. That's out of the question. What do I do with this piece? Oh dear. Pressure all over the place. The G file, can I can I make use of the G file? Play rook C2. The other one's G1, rook G2. I'll just rook back to E1 here for rook E2. Play rook E2, rook E1. Uh, Alright, so rook E2 here. Okay. Rook E1, E5. Then maybe F5, E6. And that would be dangerous for king safety, I think. Oh! Ow! Ow! Okay, I can pin that, though, with queen d2. It's not the end of the world. You can go back to knight c6. Time to get the queen off. Or just let him change his mind about that. I'll see, I'll see, does he really want to do that? He doesn't really want to draw, does he? No. Where's this queen going anyway? Okay, so I'll go back here to play for e5, I think, then f5. Although that seems an overkill. Do I need to double up rooks? It just seems a bit cosier. Double up the rooks. So e5, f5, e6. Overprotecting e5 anyway. And he's got blockade, knight e7 to f5, so. Uh, I have to accept that risk, I think. Or we'll play f5. I could play f5. I'll accept the blockade risk. He plays knight e7, I'm in trouble, yep. Try and get out of the blockade with uh, this. Try and play bishop f5. If he takes, I've still got, I've still got pressure bearing down on his king side. Uh, can I get rid of this pesky knight without sacking the exchange? I'm gonna lose c4. Great, but then I get in f5, and this king's going to start feeling the pressure. He's been turned up in the oven for his king, surely. Actually, that justifies doubling of rooks. Now e6 is going to be a major threat. I can get to play e6, and then fg. I'm hoping uh, this is dangerous for his king. Also, this bishop can still go back on the diagonal. I take this queen d1. I don't want to allow a queen invasion. So I'm threatening actually something. Surely e takes bishop a2. E takes bishop a2 is the big one I think. So bishop a2 I'm going to use now. Oh, this diagonal. I'm just being mated on the diagonal with queen c6. <laughs> oh, Oh, it's not. Uh, it's gone pear shaped this morning. <laughs> oh no, that was looking a bit promising for a while, and then my king all of a sudden. So this knight was just actually quite good. Oh, I had to take, and then bishop e2. Again, queen c6 is really strong. Why is queen g2? Uh, pawns will be winning. Maybe queen c6 forcefully gets. It's not so good the position, is it? <laughs> okay, uh, uh, yeah. Comments or questions on YouTube, and if you enjoyed this, <laughs> please subscribe to the channel. It's free and easy. Uh, Kings Cross channel. I'll put a link at the start, maybe on the right here. Thanks very much.